Hey, what's up, you guys? Today, I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to install the Honeywell T5 Wi-Fi thermostat. Um, I decided to make this video at the last minute. That's why you see my old thermostat's back in place there. Um, I removed it and I installed the other one. And I decided, to, hey, let's make a video because I don't see anything online um, on how to install this thermostat in particular. So um, I'll show you guys how to install it pretty quickly. It don't take long. And um, let's get started. First and foremost, you want to kind of cut the power, the breaker, or um, if you have a switch by the furnace like I do, just turn it off so you won't shock yourself or risk damaging the new thermostat. Okay, as you can see, I already started installing the new backing plate. And um, I actually had it wired up, but I removed it at the thought by doing this video so um you need a I use the uh, auto lever to level it out so it can be straight out against the wall and a laser lever level you can use just a standard leveler or um they have apps in the app store you can download an app for a free um laser for your cell phone you can use this well and kind of level this thing off straight so it won't be crooked all on the wall. So after you remove the old backing plate, you want to kind of put those wires in the same letters as you see here. Those on the old thermostat. Of course, there's a bunch of new letters, but you don't have to use those. Only use the ones that was off, that was on the um, backing plate of your old one. Okay, I'll install them and I'll be back shortly. Oh, one thing about this that I like about the Lyric T5's thermostat back and plate, they have push tabs. So you'll need the screwdriver. You'll need this. This is just push tabs. You push the wires in these little holes right there, back here. Some holes here. You push the wires in, match the color. And it also has, if you do have two RYs, they have the You can press down the button, which actually shows two wires and one wire. So we only have one wire, so we'll leave it up. Like I said, you don't need a jumper there at all. So we're just going to use the R for the red right here. And uh, let me install it, and I'll be off the side. Okay, do us push the tabs down. Just, uh, Okay, um, one thing I would like to say that I've learned about this thermostat, um, all standard thermostats, not the Wi-Fi, they have the green, which is normally to operate the fan. With the Lyric T5, it, you don't need this, you don't need this, you don't connect this to the G. You actually have to put it in place of the C, which gives you the power for this device otherwise it won't power on it won't power on at all if you connect it to the g the only thing that sucks about this is um you won't be able to auto or manually turn on your fan but the lyric itself it turns on the fan whenever the heat's on or the air conditions present um it'll turn on the fan automatically it'll work as it should when you're done installing the wires Excuse me, I have my phone on a tripod on this wobbly stand, so I'm sorry. Video comes out a little shaky. Um, okay, you want to press these wires down in here because it actually folds over. I have two anchors. It also it comes with three screws and two anchors. So after I leveled it, put me some anchors in the wall. And on um, this top one, I didn't use, I didn't need an anchor because it's actually touching the stud, which is crazy because um, these are not touching the studs, aren't that strange. Um, let me get on the outer edges of the stud, so I don't have to do nothing but anchor these down. So I'll screw this one in after I finish up. But close that up, and I'll try to do all this in a single shot. 
Let me zoom back. Like I say, sorry for my wiggly stand. And I'm just trying to make this a continuous shot. And I'm tired. <laughs> okay, um, let's go get the... Okay, I'm back. Um, one thing you should do, even probably before you begin installation, is go to the app store with your smartphone and download the Honeywell Lyric app. I already have it installed on my phone. And um, I know you see a lot of people, or you may have seen someone say, take an image of the barcode. You don't have to do that. This is why once you install the app, it'll pick up the signal for your phone. I mean, for this device from your phone. And um, you can manually set it up with the, with the display, or you can set it up through your phone, in which I would do. But yeah, once you get everything mounted in place, um, line it up, pop it in place. And then, you're gonna turn your power on. Yeah, it's flickering, but I don't have any power to the unit. It's weird. Okay, let's power it on. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, the previous video, well, the last scene I just left off at um, was apparently wrong. The thermostat wouldn't power up. I'll show you um, what I did to finally get it to work. And um, I'll show you guys my furnace. Um, it's an older furnace, and I'm not sure if that has something to do, to do with it. Um, Honeywell suggests in a quite a few posts and as well as um, um, the community that's on the forum there recommend that um, you use the we don't recommend but suggest that you use the the green wire for the common and um, it'll disable the fan manually however the thermostat should work well unfortunately that wasn't the case for me um, I just took it took me about maybe Two hours to figure this out and um like I said I'll show you guys my furnace circuit board and um maybe y'all's are similar but I'll tell you I'll show you guys what I did exactly to get this thing to work all right this is my furnace of course this is an older one um, And by the way, this is this house is heated by propane, so I don't know if that makes a difference. As you can see, um, it has the white, I mean the W, G, and R wiring, um, which is the red, white, and green. However, the blue, it's over here. The blue wire, I'm sorry. The blue wire is actually right there. Which goes down to here, which runs off this wire to my thermostat, and this one's to the air conditioning unit. So it's not much difference from using this propane. This size, um, this converter here, it's been converted to to run off propane. Um, like I said, I'm not an HVAC guy. However, I am a, thir a certified electrician, and I can wire anything. <laughs> and there's nothing I cannot wire. So I had, took me some time to figure it out. I'll show you exactly what I did. Let's walk back over here. Okay. Uh, instead of, I put the green back to the G. Like the previous um, base mount had for, me, for the old thermostat. I took the, the blue was going to the white. I actually put the blue to the common and I'll show you guys exactly what happened when I did that. There's nothing online showing this or even talking about this, but like I said, that is a, an older furnace and an older circuit board. It's not like the ones I see, the newer ones with the, that does have a C for the common wire or fifth wire and I shut it up. 
going to start it. Power's right here. Turn the power on. And to my surprise, look. <laughs> I have power and I'm ready to go. And after a few hours of um, figuring out the wiring from the circuit board on that old circuit panel, um, I got it to work. Not sure if this will work for you all, but I want to share this video because there's nothing online talking about this specific um, thermostat, the uh, Lyric T5. I reiterate about the pulsating when I um, stuck the green wire to the common. Um, it was just the backlit. This the backlit was just pulsating. There was no front, so no startup screen. Just couldn't figure out why it wouldn't turn on. And um, it was just I was actually gonna take it back, but I got it to work, and um, I'll set it up and show you guys uh, after the setup. All right, thanks for watching. I'm um, sorry, a little shaky, still kind of tired, but no, not really, because this thing is frustrating me. So, I'm up. hey guys, I'm back. Um, just got done with the configuration. It took me about five minutes. It was just a bunch of options to select or enable. I enabled Siri. I didn't enable the geofencing feature. Um, man, this thermostat is awesome. I'm very pleased with this product. Uh, after I got through um, configuring it, I turned the heat on because I had an ideal temperature, which was 70, and it just turned right on and worked flawless. This thing is running excellent. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, very pleased with this product. I'm trying to see if I left anything out that you guys should know. But um, excuse me, I'm kind of tired. I've been up for 27 hours. Start installing this thermostat and figured I'd make a brief tutorial because I didn't see anything online. And um, after a few hours of figuring out the wiring, um, I was able to install it and it's working flawless. Flawless without compensating the ground wire to the, I mean the green wire to the common. Even using um, the features on the phone now, it's just, it's effortless and it works so well and just so quick. The Wi-Fi setup was super, super easy and didn't take any time. You know, we got a bunch of Bluetooth devices around this house and they require just a tiny bit of work. This didn't take any time. This thing was just doing everything on its own. So very pleased with this. So um, hopefully this video helped you guys. Hope you liked it. Um, once again, I'm tired. Been up for 27 hours. Forgive me if I'm stuttering or hesitating to talk. I'm just tired and sleepy. So now I can get some rest in a warm house. Thanks you guys for watching.